what's going on today we are going mountain biking i specify mountain biking because i've been spending so much time on my road bike lately which is the first time i've ever even had a road bike and i'm gonna do one one quick video about road biking in the future so i can tell you why i got a road bike when i'm way more interested in mountain biking but first let me just show you the road bike real quick just so you can get a peek so that's it that's all you want to see of that this is a mountain bike channel after all but in order to actually go mountain biking, I have to put on my mountain bike clothes. So just one sec. And now we're ready to go biking. All right, so today we're headed to Porcupine Ridge. Again, it's kind of my favorite place lately. I just really enjoy it as far as Embrace Ridge and Muskoka. It's just a great trail system. So there's one specific trail that I want to show off today. And it, I think, is the first trail ever built by Morka at this trail system because they didn't originally build these trails even though they're the ones that now maintain them and have taken over the trails. But they built a new trail and it goes by the name of No Name. So it has no name. So it doesn't go by any name. But it goes by the name of No Name. It's got some pretty cool rock obstacles. This one that's really sketchy at the start. But enough talk in the car, let's just go to the hill. So something I've never really mentioned before is that these trails are actually right near a place called Santa's Village in Bracebridge. And it's a great place to bring your kids. Not so great if you're a little bit of an older kid. But anyways, it's down Santa's Village Road, which leads to Lake Muskoka. So it's a really nice drive and a cool place to check out. Also, since it's close to the river, you can actually go for a swim afterwards. So this is like the first time in two weeks that I've even ridden my mountain bike. I've been riding my road bike so much, so this is gonna feel weird. Yeah, this feels weird already. So this new trail that the Morka guys built recently, it's only been around for a couple weeks. This thing might need a tuning. So this new trail is more or less at the top of the hill, right kind of midway through Doug's Run. So if you're doing it, I really like Doug's Run. I showed it in my, uh, a couple of videos ago as Doug's Run has like a million cool wood features. And what's great about it whew, is that all of those wood features are kind of in the early half. So you could hit the early half, do all those wood features, and then hop on to No Name. And when you're done it, it even loops right back to where you were. So you could continue Doug's Run. So let's get up this huge hill. So this is part one of the hard climb. This is pretty steep. Come on. As I was saying. Don't worry. If that doesn't tie you out. It's still only uphill from here. So we skipped lots of different trails on the way here, but this is Andrew's Theater. And this one's pretty easy. So I like this one. It's nice to get a start that's a little easier. And by some standards, I'm sure this is pretty difficult, but in this trail system, this is as green as it gets. And it's very short. I wasn't kidding when I said it's very short. That's the end of it. <laughs> so 
Something I love about this trail system is the signage. There are signs at the start and end of every trail and markers all along the way so you never get lost. So the way we came, I actually came out at the end of Doug's run and I'm gonna make my way around. I've ridden these trails a handful of times, but I kind of have my go-to route. I think I went a little off trail there. This is looking right. I think I am looking, yep, at the no name. So this is the end of bridge on Doug's run right here, which is an awesome bridge, but I've shown that a bunch of times. And here is the no name. So this part is what freaks me out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just cause I don't want to fall down there. And this line's tricky too, but luckily there is a beeline here. So we'll do this. Ooh. So what was once supposed to be a video about no name, a specific trail at Porcupine Ridge and British Ridge, turned into a video that's gonna be a little bit more about being burnt out and being exhausted. See, I'm not much of an athlete. I actually basically didn't do anything all winter. I have a desk type job as a graphic designer and I spend a little too much time sitting and not enough time exercising. So come summer, I just was not really fit for biking. So I spent the last couple months mountain biking and then road biking and my goal was if I just keep pushing myself almost daily then maybe my body will just learn to adapt to all this riding. But I learned right here on this trail that it catches up with you and I needed to take a rest. I've been tired before mountain biking. I've been really tired. I've had my heart in that kind of red zone countless times and I've learned to just push past it, take small breaks, get your breath back and go. But today it was different. Today, for the first time ever, I put my bike down and I bent down and I had one hand on the ground and I was just gasping for air so that I could not pass out. Don't get me wrong, Porcupine does feature a lot of climbing. It's at the top of a hill, but this is nothing compared to mountains and things that people climb in America and even BC. I mean, this, this is a small hill by comparison, so my exhaustion level is not a reflection necessarily of the trail. Of course, if I was on an easier one, it would be easier, but that's why I was so tired. But I was determined to get back and finish this video. I think this is quite honestly the most tired I've been mountain biking in a long time. I think I need a few rest days. It's like hunting lookouts, pretty cool. So partially due to my exhaustion and partially due to the fact that I've only even ridden this trail once, I made a wrong turn somewhere here on the rocks. I should have gone straight and instead I ended up veering to the right and ended up on a wholly different trail. But a trail that I had never ridden that has a really cool downhill section. Huh. I don't even remember if I went this way or the loop back to the start last time. I think I went loop back to the start. I'd only ridden this trail once before. This is only my second time. Woo! <laughs> Damn, this is serious. <laughs> we just keep going.
Wow, I honestly had no idea that I was in for that. That was some solid downhill. <laughs> I don't think I've ever ridden that trail before. That was awesome. <laughs> also, it was nice to get in some downhill. I was getting pretty beat down. I really just wanted to show off that one trail and I'm even more tired than I thought I was from all the other riding I've been doing the last few weeks. So honestly, I just checked Strava and I went like three point something kilometers in 26 minutes of riding today. That's disgusting. After doing an 80 kilometer ride on Saturday on the road bike, which felt like a big success for me as my first month road riding. And uh, today felt like a little bit of a failure, <laughs> but rather than beat myself up and keep riding and push it further and further and delay my recovery time and all that stuff, I only live 10 minutes from these trails. So I think the smart thing to do is pack it in, go for a swim, and uh, save my energy so I can get back out here faster. Uh, maybe I need a day or two off, it looks like. The heat doesn't help either. But I'll show you how quick it is to go for a swim from here. This is kind of like a secondary parking lot. There's sort of three parking lots here. This is kind of arguably the middle one, which connects to the first one. And there's a third one over there. But generally you come in this first one right near Santa's Village. Santa's Village is straight ahead. And this is kind of like a camping park right beside it. So we're on the road here, this is Santa's Village Road. We just left the parking lot. We're seconds away from the trail. See, so this is Whispering Pines Campground. And seconds away, here's where you can swim. And so this is the dock that you can jump off of. The water's fairly deep here. It's for, for boaters to leave so that they can uh, go to Santa's Village or whatever, but right by the trails. So if I actually make a video of this, because I'm not too embarrassed on my terrible cardio, then I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, maybe I'll keep making videos. Just joking, I definitely will. See you guys soon.